welcome back to the Sajin YouTube channel so first of all for today we have the news regarding RTX 40 series in mobile yeah you heard it right like RTX 40 series will be launching for mobile variants during CES which is set for 3rd and 4th Jan of next year but we have already got the leaks for it it is set for 5th and 6th Jan to be exact but RTX 40 series will be launching rebuilt around 3rd January 2023 so yeah it's nice to see and along with it it will be having rtx 4080 ti uh, it will have 4080 40 there are rumors like there's 4080 and 4090 also but we still don't know like there will be a 4080 ti or 4090 but given the fact it comes with 4080 will comes with 12 gb of vram 4070 will come with 8 4060 will also come with 8 gb 4050 will come with 6 gb of vram while there will be a rtx 3050 which is random to see and it will come with 6 GB of VRAM which is a weird thing to see like RTX 3050 coming not RTX 4050 so yeah and given the fact like according to the leaks it is going to be 15 uh, up to 30 percent faster compared to previous generation which is nice thing to see but given the fact like RTX 40 series is one hell of a performance power hog like performance is good but it requires large amount of power along with it 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 costs too much so let's just hope it's pretty affordable as of now but we still don't know it's nvidia we are talking about so it might be expensive and along with it we have news regarding rx 7900 series and it might be a bad news none the same because uh, the non-public version like the SO stuff or power color variants are delayed by one to two weeks and they will be costing way higher than way higher than the reference version which is a bad thing to see we thought like it will be launched alongside on 13th december like the reference versions and custom builds custom versions but no it's not the case and the price of non-public versions will be much more expensive so let's just hope it's not that the, it's not the case like it should be just 100 per 100 bucks higher it will be okay but if it's much more than that then it's a bad thing to see so yeah it's pretty it's what it is right now so we can't say anything about it but rx7900 xt is pretty nice and along with it we have news regarding gpu shipments as it has comes with john pd research which research is of the research envelope like what it is going on and rt 4080 is not selling pretty good like it is selling to like it rtx 490 is selling to rtx 4080 by 3.4 to 1 like only one rtx 4080 while 3 to 3.5 times that of 4090 are being sold so the sale of rtx 4080 is way low compared to what nvidia expected and overall the gpu shipments and gpu pricing mm -hmm. has increased so it's a bad thing as you can see on the screen here all platforms of gpus have decreased have decreased by almost 25 percent 25.1 percent to be exact as you can see on the screen along with it the desktop graphics has been decreased by 15.43 percent and notebooks have been decreased by 30 percent compared to last year so yeah it's going down and down and maybe that's how gpu prices will go down because we are still not in covid or something like that we are still not in gpu shortage environment so the prices should go down as of now but they are just increasing which is a bad thing to see but intel amd and nvidia might have to sh lower the share low because amd share has also been decreased by whopping 47.6 percent and intel share has been decreased by 44 point while intel shipment has been rose by 4.7 percent it didn't ro drop it rose so maybe amd need to rise it and nvidia shipment has officially been decreased by 19.7 percent so yeah let's just hope like any companies make the gpus available and at reduced pricing but the bad news doesn't stop here because we have more bad news coming and it's related to rtx 50 series like rtx 56 and rx 8000 series which will be revealed later down the year like after two years as we all know rtx 50 series is going to be based on hopper which is an mcm architecture while 8000 series will officially go for overall everything for 
uh, MCM architecture like only 7900 XT and XTX is MCM but it's true not MCM it just have memory chip dies on a different chipset chiplet but AMD was planning for having graphical units also on different chipsets which didn't happen but 8000 series might do it so the thing comes from TSMC itself and they are going to increase the pricing for 3 nanometer as given the fact it is to be expected but the wafer cost will be increased to 20,000 bucks as of now so given the fact like 5 everything is based on 3 nanometer like AMD is, has officially confirmed like the next generation is based on 3 nanometer Nvidia is also planning for 5000 series to be based on 3 nanometer Apple's A15 A17 Bionic is also going to be based on 3 nanometer so it's going to be increase in price and it's almost 27 percent increase compared to 5 nanometers as you can see on the screen here it is the chart where the pricing has been increased over the years of TSMC's process but it's to be expected because you are putting more transistors and the cost of making those processors clips before skip getting increasing but 20,000 so maybe we will get next generation will be expensive time will tell but let's just hope it's not that expensive so yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next one peace out